Good morning, New Beginnings. It's me, Pastor Danish House. Today is Monday, April 17th, 2023. Thank you so much for joining me for this daily update and devotional video. I'm glad you decided to make me part of your life today, and I'm delighted that you are part of my life as well. Well, today, the only uh, item on the calendar for today is an elder board meeting tonight at 7. Elders have a lot to discuss tonight, but if you've got something else that you'd like to the elders to talk about, please feel free to contact one of your elders and uh, and put something in their ear to talk about at tonight's meeting. We'd be happy to do our best to do so. Uh, we had yesterday a great hymn sing here at New Beginnings. Um, it's become sort of a new tradition for us that the Sunday after Christmas and the Sunday after Easter, we're setting aside as hymn sing Sundays, where people have the opportunity to uh, sing hymns by request. Some of your favorite uh, old hymns of the church. And uh, actually, this hymn sing provoked a very interesting discussion between me and my daughter as we were talking in the car afterwards about what constitutes a hymn and what constitutes a chorus. Um, but uh, what, what constitutes a contemporary song? And is does the word hymn just mean a, an older song that we don't typically sing anymore? Uh, <laughs> but uh, it was a good conversation, and we and it was a great uh, hymn sing at a really good time. Um, and we all got to request our own hymns. Maybe you're asking Pastor House, why didn't you request a hymn? And the truth is, I did request a hymn. Uh, my hymn uh, was put already in the no, in the uh, order of service, uh, the, hymn, the hymn that I requested. So the hymn that I requested was one that I heard actually we sang at, uh, at the funeral for Keith Russell's mom just a few weeks ago. And it made such a huge impression on my heart. It was a hymn that I've sung my whole life, um, but I, I was reminded about how great a hymn the hymn was, and so I requested it for our hymn sing. And uh, it's the hymn, I Know Whom I Have Believed. And uh, here's the, the first verse in the chorus. I know not why God's wondrous grace to me he hath made known, nor why unworthy Christ in love redeemed me for his own. But I know whom I have believed and am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I'm committed unto him against that day. The hymn was written by Daniel Whittle and was first published in 1883. I love this hymn. Um, notice a couple of things. Uh, first, I want you to notice that uh, the chorus there um, is entirely a quotation. Right. But I know, but quote, I know whom I have believed it and am persuaded that he is able. Um, and, it, and the whole the whole rest of the chorus is a quote. It's a quote from a, a passage of scripture. And I love how the verses work in this hymn. Uh, they, each verse touches on some of the mysteries of the Christian faith. I don't know why God made known his grace to me. I'm unworthy of his grace. Why did he uh, reveal he, his grace to me? Why did he redeem me for his own? I don't know. The second verse, I don't know how he gave me faith, right? Uh, how, uh, how he enabled me to believe in his word and, uh, and how I am now able to have peace in my heart. I, I don't know. The third verse, I don't know how the spirit works convincing men of sin, uh, revealing Jesus through his word and creating faith in him. I don't know how the spirit does that out in the world. Uh, I don't know. The fourth verse, I don't know what my future holds, right? I don't know what good or ill are reserved for me uh, before I get to see Jesus. I don't know. And the last one, I don't know when my Lord may come. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to die and, uh, and be resurrected uh, or if I'm going to be raptured and meet him in the air. I don't know. So I love these five verses filled with things that I just don't know. And and I'm sure if we were to think about it, we could come up with a ton more things we don't know, right? Uh, about about the faith, a ton more things that we that just remain mysteries to me. And I love that about this hymn. I love it that it's a hymn about the mysteries, the things we don't know, the things we don't understand. Um, and you know, that's going to be the case for Christians of every age. Uh, there's going to be things that we don't understand. The Christian faith contains a great deal of mystery. And anybody who claims to sort of have it all figured out is trying to sell you something, <laughs> right? Uh, now, 
we think about things, we work our way through things, and we, we, we feel like we come to a conclusion on many different things, but, uh, but there's always going to be things in the Christian faith that we just haven't been able to fully piece together. Things that uh, make sense to us, things that don't make sense to us, things that uh, are challenging for us on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, we, there's going to be many, many things that we do not know. Uh, but of course, the hymn uh, quotes 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 12, to talk about what we do know. And it quotes it out of the King James Version. Uh, and here's what it says in, King, in 2 Timothy 1, 12. For the which cause I also suffered these things. Love that King James English, right? For the which cause I also suffered these things. Nevertheless, I am not ashamed. For I know whom I have believed and am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. What's he saying here? Look, I, I, a lot of things I don't know, but I know one thing. I know Jesus. I know whom I have believed. I know Jesus. And I am persuaded that Jesus is able to hang on to, is able to keep the thing that I've committed to him against the last day. What is that? Me, right? What have I committed to Jesus? I've given Jesus me. I've given Jesus my heart, my soul, my body. I've given him my allegiance. I've given Jesus uh, my agreement to follow him. Uh, I, I don't know how it all works. I don't know how his faith stirred in my heart. I don't know how, why me. I don't know all those different things, but I know this. I know Jesus. I know Jesus is good. And I know that I've given Jesus me. I've given him myself. And I believe that he's able to hold on to me until the last day when uh, the dead are raised, uh, when the, the living saints in him are caught up to meet him in the air, when the final judgment begins and Jesus declares every person who trusts in him to be righteous through the blood of Jesus. I know that I can trust Jesus. There's lots of things in this world that I don't know, but I know that I can trust Jesus. There's lots of things in this religion, in this faith that I don't know, but I know that I can trust Jesus. And that's what this hymn comes down to. Yeah, I get people come in my office all the time with, with questions, and I try very hard to give them good answers from the scriptures. I've been to seminary. I've got a, a Master's of Divinity degree up here on my wall. There you go. Evidence. I got a Master's of Divinity degree. I'm pretty smart. Okay. I got lots of books on my bookshelf. I'm a smart guy. I've got a degree. I've been a Christian for however many years. I became a Christian when I was eight years old. Okay. So 42 years. Right. And yet there's things I don't know. There's things I don't understand. There's things I'm wrestling with day by day, just like you do. There's a lot of things I don't know. And frankly, and I'll be honest with you, right? The older I get, the more things go on that list. It's, it's not like my list is getting smaller as time goes by. There's lots of things I, I thought I understood back when I was 20 and cocky, right? That now I am not as sure about, about some of those things, even things in the faith. But I tell you what, I'm 50 years old now and I'm more certain now than I ever have been in Jesus. That's, that's what I'm certain in. I'm certain that Jesus is good. I know whom I've believed, and I'm persuaded that he is able to keep that which I've committed unto him until that day. That's what I believe. I believe in Jesus. Um, and because of Jesus, I believe in the Bible. Because of Jesus, I believe in the word. I be believe that the Bible is true and trustworthy. Because of Jesus, I believe that you, as a follower of Jesus, are my brother and my sister. Uh, because of Jesus, I believe uh, that uh, all these other things that are, are part of the faith. And I believe many things that I don't understand. Uh, but I believe them because of Jesus. Jesus is good. I'm persuaded that Jesus is there. I'm persuaded that Jesus is good. And, and with Jesus comes a whole lot of other things. But at the, at the heart of my faith, 
at the core of what I believe is Jesus. And that's why I love this, this hymn by Daniel Whittle. That's why I really enjoyed singing it. That's one of the reasons I really enjoyed singing it. It's also a fun hymn to sing, right? The chorus doesn't rhyme, but I know whom I have believed and am persuaded. That's an interesting thing, right? The little ed, ed, uh, that he is able to keep that which I've committed unto him against that day. There's that ed, ed, ed thing, but it's not at the end of the lines, and but there's that rhythm about it. Um, and you you really can belt the last couple of lines to keep that which I've committed unto him against that day, right? Like I I. Evelyn and I in the car was talking about that that's sort of a trombone line. Like, you know, just put it out there. Anyway, anyway, it's a great hymn. It's a lot of fun to sing. Uh, and I love the I love the meaning of the hymn, right? That we don't necessarily understand everything about the faith. Uh, there's many things we don't understand, but we know Jesus. We know Jesus is good and we can trust him. And that is at the core of what it means to be a Christian. Brother, sister, I hope that today. You, maybe you have questions today. Maybe you're wrestling with things today, but I hope that today you will say, no, I have those questions and they are real, they're legit. I need them answered. I'm going to work towards an answer, but I know this. I know Jesus and I trust Jesus. And those, the, all the other questions, as important as they are, I'm just going to be okay with that, right? That I'm, that I'm not fully uh, understanding everything because I'm going to trust Jesus every step of the way. And hey, if you're watching this, for some reason, if you're watching this and you haven't trusted your life to Jesus, let me tell you this. Uh, don't wait until you've understood everything about Christianity because you won't. Uh, but I, I assure you with everything in my heart that Jesus is worthy of your trust. And if you put your trust in him, you will not, you will not, you will not be ashamed. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for your love for us. Thank you that in your love for us, you sent us Jesus, the one who we can trust with everything that we have and everything that we are. And Lord, we, we do trust him today. And I, I pray that you'd help us with all the questions in our lives, with all the difficulties in our lives. We don't understand the whys and the wherefores of everything. Not all the theology, uh, we've been able to comprehend and yet um and yet i am more certain today than i ever have been that jesus is real and alive and good and worth following and so i will follow him uh, today through hell or high water i will follow jesus and i pray for everyone in the sound of my voice or that they would be able to do the same I thank you for the elders of this church. I thank you for the, the blessing that they are. I pray that you would bless the elder board meeting tonight. Help us as we're working through some challenging and complicated questions. Um, I pray that you would bless our conversation and uh, help us to lead well tonight. Lord, and I pray for uh, every person within the sound of my voice that you would bless them and encourage them in every way. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, thank you so much for joining me for this daily update and devotional video. I love you, New Beginnings, and I look forward to talking to you again tomorrow.